Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 98 of my Scots campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Uh, before we go any further, I noticed when I was editing the video uh, that the Baron of Montpellier is in here. There he is. So, why could I not see that before? There we go, Kingdom of Scotland. Uh, so, yep, doesn't do me any good at all. I don't have any sort of claim arising from that barony. So, anyway, there we go. That's where Montpellier is, still held by Aquitaine. And with the most of the British Isles conquered, I can now make the Kingdom of England, Wales and Ireland if I wanted to, but I don't. Not right now anyway. Might get to that at some point. Um, but I'm now waiting for claims to start with, but also waiting for truces to expire before I can make any progress in Ireland. So I need to get myself something different to do. And I had thought about going to war with Brittany to extort tribute for them. But if I do that, then it means it's another 10 years before the truce with them expires. Uh, that might not actually be too bad. I could take Connaught. Potentially. But I've also got a truce with France because I've just taken one of their provinces, one of their counties, sorry. Um, the other option would be to go to war with France. I did have the option to claim that for the mayor of Pontefract, who's a kinsman of mine. So... Come 19, or 1941, 1141, uh, that would be another option for us. To add France into our dynasty's zone of control, if you like. So, thinking about that, let's get moving anyway. Uh, in York, we built this new city. To fight. Um, and it's good to see that the mayor's already proving that. So, what's this? Arrange a marriage. A kinswoman of mine and some guy. Burgundian Revolt, I don't think that's going to be very long lived, and she's not actually a bad character. So I'm going to decline that, and let's see if we can arrange a matrilineal marriage. Oh, I was going to search for geniuses, etc, but I don't really need to search, just have a quick look through. So. No great genes available to add to the gene pool. Someone who is bon brawny and shrewd, but they may also be arbitrary. Canoe mm, might be an option. And then we've got dressed, my nephew. Uh, let's 
go with him. And keep it in the family, as it were. Duke Erpin Krill. Did he die in my dungeons? No, nope, Komoto was in bed. Okay, who is it that's in my dungeon then? Oh, it's Earl of Argyle, that's right. He, I think, held Lancaster at one point before I stripped him of the title. Um, so there's no sign of any swift movement over here in Ireland. Another siege leader, they're popping up thick and fast these days. I've risen so fast to the top that other people regard me with envy. Uh, no, leave me alone. So Brittany. King Rioch of Brittany and Asturias. Can raise six and a half thousand troops. Oh, hang on, hang on, who's this? Pedric of Mercia. You're not really that good. What are you up to anyway? Seek to fabricate a claim in the Kingdom of Scotland. No, oh, that's treasonable. I don't care. You're not that good. Um, okay. I gave you an opportunity to better yourself, and that's how you repay me. Let's... Oh, okay, imprison you. Excellent. And we will revoke the title of... The Duke of Mercia. Okay, and you're also an infidel. What? Castant? What are you up to? Uh, El Kniard. You don't like me. Couple of baronies, a couple of counties, three counties. Okay, well let's imprison you. And we'll revoke the title of Go for Warwick. Yeah, I think I will take Warwick. There we go. You're also a Lollard. There's lots of Lollards around. Um all right. So I need to get rid of those two counties. Okay, shrewd and ambitious, shrewd and brawny. Midas touched. Okay, you have a wife. Could be better, I suppose, but never mind. How about we make you the Count of Warwick? Yeah, okay. And you're part of the Duchy of Mercia. So wait a minute, who then? Who's the Duke of Mercia? There is no none. Really? I 
So who holds Mercia then? No, it's not what I want to see. It's this. No, it's not that either. What am I looking for? The... Is it Dragon Vassals? Yes. So it's just held by Warwick. Interesting. So, of course, <laughs> I hold the Duchy of Mercia. Yes, that's right. I was about to get rid of that. Who do we have in here then? Locked up dude. Young dude. And an older dude. Who's my nephew. Do you desire the duchy? You're dull, but you're a brilliant strategist. You might um, like me quite well if I give you the duchy. Can I demand religious conversion? No. Okay, I'll grant you the title anyway. So I've still got Essex and York, that's fine. You take mercy up. And you think I'm fantastic. And now you would convert. Fantastic. Okay. So that sorted things out a bit. I'm having mouse scroll wheel problems here when I try to scroll out. Uh, have I completed an ambition? I thought that was the one that I was working on. Never mind. Northumberland holds most of Mori. Another bit held by Galloway. Uh, who's this? Clydesdale holds Durham. Ah, marital bliss. Lancaster down here. Uh, I'm not going to spend time sorting that out again. A special tithe has been collected. Fantastic. And we're still making progress on the various bandit uh, groups and smuggler rings, etc. So can I get rid of another county? Who holds this? My wife's pregnant again? Um, Duke of Orkney and this is Duke of East Anglia I'm not sure how I ended up with them <laughs> controlling those counties but never mind but look, look at this, I'm 68 I have a one year old son and my wife's pregnant again go me Okay, let's look at York, see what sort of improvements we can make. Castle Shipyard, not really bothered about. Same there. It's fine. Here, improve castle fortifications, may as well do that. And we could get the stables of the Hollow War down here. And we'll go for the Hollow War first. We 
could what would be better let's go for the translation house uh, Teutonic Order, the infidel, infidels should tremble. And what about hospital in York? Duke Kinnear II's justice has brought peace to a troubled county. Great. Um, I think again the translation house. Spender cash. Can't take it with you. Increased council power again is becoming a bit of a problem. Collecting taxes in York. Reigning in Galloway. You can raise 2,000 men. About 14,000. Three and a half thousand. Duke of Powys, you're reigning in Shrewsbury. Okay. So let's get our spy master and get you into Shrewsbury. And sort him out. Okay, what's the situation with my heir? My son seems to be holding off Morleo of Albany. Court chaplain Uthoyle bursts into your chambers, flanked by several men at arms, dragging Duke Uid of Mercia with him. Oh, good God. Um, this is a guy that I've just made Duke. But he's no longer an apostate. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw him in the dungeon. I did not warn you. Oh dear, my wife died. Natural death. At least it wasn't in childbirth. Uh, so my son Would be quite a good king, I was about to say. There we go. Um, <laughs> there is no point spying on King Gallum the Third anymore, considering he's there. Were you spying on me? You little tosser. Uh, king Gallum the Third has given up the ghost at age 69. He died bedridden and infirm. Ever temperate, he never let his base urges get the better of him. A godly man, he is with the Lord now. Okay, so we've got obviously a number of things that need to be taken care of. First of all, Crown Focus was set in York. Let's check out our court. Um, you're probably going to stay as our Chancellor. Yep, sure are. Marshal the Duke of Ulster. Well, why not? Yep. Uh, this guy. The court physician as well. Spymaster. Never get anybody as good as myself. 
don't know, Mayor of London will do, and a court chaplain. Yeah, there we are. So you continue trying to get us a claim there. Yeah, and you organise the army, that's fine. You can collect taxes for me in York. Spymaster. And I'll stick me back in Shrewsbury. And. Where are the Lollards? Let's deal with the Lollards. And get you in there. Right, successful nomination we will deal with presently. We can righteously imprison Duke Tlurgan the Fat or El Gant of Devon. Why? Mm. Uh, it takes one percent chance, but see, yep. saying that we've got him locked away, and the other one, to Lurgan, you are trying to revoke the county of Cumberland. Well, let's do that as well. To arms, fantastic! How nice we were to start with. Uh, okay, let's get our troops raised here. Group them up. Go and smash in there, and we'll get the rest of the guys. We've also I've forgotten we've got Cornwall now as well. So you uh, march to there. You head in there. That'll do. Council of Discontent, we know about that, that's fine. Designated Regent we can grant to somebody, that's fine as well. So let's go and deal with this. Traitorous bugger. Lost things. Received a beautiful new handgun. Lost. Received. Received. Uh, yep, fine. Dangerous factions. Okay. I was wounded in the thick of battle. Good God. Get out of there. A siege leader. You shouldn't be leading troops in open field battles. Alright, there we go. Um, you guys group up. And they're heading for Northumberland. You head in there as well. No, you follow them into Northumberland. Change my mind. You head there. You join up with them. You guys come down here. No, <laughs> change my mind again, there's too many of them. You'll meet up there. And you'll go deal with them. Who now? Baron of Stamford. Um, no, fine, I'm busy. And I'm going to stick on all those top plots again. Just because there's too much going on right now for me to waste time on that. And pull back to there. They're heading into York anyway. So you guys now just group up there. Excellent. We've 
going to catch them. Nope, we're going to Westmoreland. Yeah, that stopped you. We'll catch them in there now. Not paying attention up here. Okay. Victory. Captain Amir. Oh, that wasn't even the right battle. So they're heading into Lothian now. You guys stay put. And this army can now group up. You're heading into Derby. Yeah, one of my commanders was killed. Heading into Dunbar. My daughter, um, yeah, she must learn on her own. I don't want any negative traits putting st stressing me out. Got another mare. Okay, uh, some kid needs an education. My son, some kid. Here's some kid. Let's go for duty. And you head back in here. And this is also going to run on for a while. Went to hiding. Why would I? So I think I'm going to put a break in here and then we'll pick this up again in the next part when we can conclude this civil war. Uh, and by that point it will be almost time to go and declare war on Brittany, I think. So as I said, I'm going to put a break in here. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please leave me a comment and rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.